anyone who knows anything would tell you this is water. It looks like water. It sounds like water. Plain, ordinary water. They would be wrong. There's nothing ordinary about this water. Anyone who knows anything would tell you this is land. With its virgin forests, its sparkling lakes, its natural meadows. Beautiful, but ordinary land. They would be wrong again. There's nothing ordinary about this land. This water and this land are what we've made a film about. This is a water film about land. That's why we call it The Water's Land. At first, it's hard for the eye to discover what makes this East Bay land different from any other land. The sun rises here with the same regularity. The meadows glisten with the same subtle colors as they have for centuries. The grass drinks the same dew. The blanket of mist still gives way to the day. Sounds invade the quiet with the recurring music of life. Everywhere pass the ancient rites and rhythms of living things at work. But here and there are signs of human concern. Hints that this land has a special purpose. That it is given exceptional care. The fact that this land is protecting your water supply gives it a special dimension. This lake, for example, is actually a reservoir that stores winter water for the arid summers. This seemingly virgin wood has actually been planted to limit erosion. This meadow has been altered to help prevent fires. This trail is regulated to protect hikers as well as the delicate balance of plant and animal life around them. This land sits on the edge between wilderness and civilization. Extraordinary land because it is managed land. Land that is renewed, protected, studied, and cared for by the East Bay Municipal Utility District in order to store and safeguard the public's drinking water. To this land management effort, East Bay Mud devotes the same kind of concentration, planning, and study it brings to supplying more than a million people in Alameda and Contra Costa counties with over 200 million gallons of the highest quality drinking water daily. Many people, however, are unaware that East Bay Mud is a government agency which also is responsible for 42,000 acres of publicly owned land. A special kind of land, because this is watershed land. Caring for this land is a big job, requiring the close communication and coordination of many skilled people. Fire patrols must be ready for emergencies. Grazing land maintained and managed. Fire trails cleared. Reservoirs stocked with fish. And land, air, and water patrols manned throughout the year for the protection of the watershed 
from the few who misuse the land. All of this precaution and attention is given to the land for one primary purpose, to protect your water supply and guarantee you the finest, purest water possible. For many years, this land was not open to the public. Watershed land could not be used in the same way as park land because of the sanitary requirements for a public drinking water supply. However, after thorough study and planning, through research field trips and countless meetings with concerned people, East Bay Mud and its Citizens Committee developed plans for ways in which the use of this protected land could be expanded to further serve the needs of the communities around it. The Board of Directors, after careful consideration, decided there were many ways the land could be enjoyed by the public. And with limits on the kinds of uses and controls on their impacts on the land, the watershed could still serve its primary purpose of protecting the water supply. From this land use master plan, two parallel benefits for the public emerged, recreation and education. For example, recreation. East Bay residents can now enjoy a wide variety of recreational activities, often only a short distance from their homes. At Chabot Reservoir near Castro Valley in Oakland, San Pablo Reservoir near Arinda, just over the hills from Berkeley and Richmond. Lafayette, the first reservoir opened in the East Bay. And further away, nestled in the Sierra foothills east of Lodi, on the McKellumney River, are Comanche and Pardee reservoirs. Types of recreation vary from reservoir to reservoir because the needs of water protection differ. For example, because Comanche is not a drinking water reservoir, it is the only facility where water skiing and swimming are permitted. But all the recreational facilities, whether in the Sierra foothills or the nearby East Bay Hills offer you a chance to explore and relax and enjoy a wide variety of outdoor activities. Much of the watershed land is crisscrossed with trails for hikers and horseback riders. These trails, which require permits to use, connect with the East Bay Regional Park District's trail system, giving residents access to over 200 miles of trails to travel through these spacious hills. Naturally, the rules in watershed lands are more strict than in parks because of the need to protect the water. But East Bay Mud believes, with the help of a higher level of conduct from an informed public, that recreation and protection can happen together. Where the land needs more protection, however, East Bay Mud has set aside areas for educational use where permits are needed. These permits may be obtained by many educational and community groups, such as schools, scouts, YMCA, and environmental organizations. 
Many fossils have been discovered on East Bay mudland, some dating back 20 million years. These whale vertebrae are 6 million years old. The hands of other timepieces span the history of this land. Mute records of prehistoric time, crusted, fragile, books with words as untranslatable as the worlds in which they were written. Near Comanche Reservoir is a thousand-year-old Miwok Indian rock shelter. And on the upper San Leandro watershed, a student marvels at the curious wind caves. These types of formations must be protected from unthinking abuse. They are reserved for students and classes conducting special educational projects. An example is the research project at the Knob Cone Pine Forest near Canyon. Other land is studied for the number and variety of its trees, such as the Knob Cone Pine, Digger Pine, Oak Woodlands, Madrone, Giant Willows, Cottonwoods, and Alders. All types of people, young and old, artists or botanists, can enjoy over 250 species of plants on these lands. Indian paintbrush, baccarus, manzanita, California poppy, the more rare bush poppy, and many others. An environmental education class is offered to teachers by a local college to acquaint the teachers with specific plant and animal life located on East Bay mudlands, which are designated for educational use. These teachers later bring elementary and secondary students from local public, private, and parochial schools to these areas on field trips. This reconstructed pioneer house near Pardee Reservoir, originally built in 1861, helps bring history closer to the many students that visit it every year. These are a few of the ways East Bay Mud is helping this land enrich the lives of its neighbors. Other land, not designated for educational or recreational use, is watershed management preserves, used for such things as livestock grazing, community horse pastures, and Christmas tree farming. It is comforting to know that some of this open space land is a haven for species of life slowly receding from us. The mountain lion and the eagle still move across this shadowy landscape. The land is a game refuge for the abundant deer and the annual migration of Canada geese. The land is host to the moods and seasons that visit here, infinitely shifting, changing, patterns for us to observe and enjoy. Recreation, education, open space, 
three of the unique gifts of East Bay mud watershed land. The fun of playing together, of learning new things, of getting in touch with ourselves through nature. A rich, diverse landscape for your discovery managed with the care that has changed what might seem like ordinary land into something very, very special.